Hi boys, we are still solving uh, simultaneous equations. We are starting the fourth exercise. Uh, this type of uh, questions in this exercise are basically where the variable is in the denominator. This type of equations are reducible to linear equation. I repeat, in these equations, variable is in the denominator. It will be unadvisable to take uh, LCM and multiply and add or subtract. Makes life much more difficult. So let's see some questions. I think you will get the gist of it. Question number one, nine upon X minus four upon Y, sorry, four upon Y is equal to eight. Now, like I said, the variable is in the denominator. So this is where uh, we need to ensure that the denominator, the, is, uh, the variable is removed from the denominator. So we say let one upon X is equal to we cleared another variable, let's say A, and 1 upon Y is another variable, let's say B. So this equation changes to 9A minus 4B is equal to 8. And this is my first equation. Now this is the kind of equation that we are comfortable solving. Let's look at the second equation. It is 13 upon X plus 7 upon Y is equal to 101. Again, this is a uh, variable is in the denominator. We've already taken 1 upon x is equal to a, which means this gets converted to 13a plus 7b is equal to 101. This is my equation 2. Now that we have simple equations, we can solve them using any of the methods that we've already learned. So method 1 that we learned was elimination by uh, substitution. So this was the method which was substitution. The second exercise was based on elimination by equating coefficient. That was our second method, equating coefficient. And the third exercise that we worked with was on cross multiplication. Right? So we can use whichever method I want, whichever method you want because method is not required or is not specified in the question. So we decide whichever one we want. I would want to make the coefficients equal. So I have negative 4 and 7. So I will multiply this equation by 7. And I will multiply this equation by 4. So my first equation is 9 into 7. 63a minus 28b is equal to 7 into 8. That's 56. This is 4 into 13. That's 52a plus 28b is equal to 404. I add because the variables are equal uh, and opposite in sign. So this is uh, 5115a is equal to 460. Therefore, a is equal to 460 upon 115, which is equal to 4. So now we substitute, put a is equal to 4 in my first equation. And I get 9 into 4 minus 4b is equal to 8, which means 36 minus 8 is equal to 4b, which is 28 upon 4 is equal to b, which is equal to 7. So a is and b are 4 and 7. But that's not my question. a is a variable which I have created and b is a variable which I have created. <coughs> and we know a is equal to 1 upon x, which is equal to 4, which means x will be equal to 1 upon 4. And we know b is equal to 1 upon y, which is equal to 7, which means y is equal to 1 upon 7. So I write my final answer in the set form, which is 1 upon 4 upon and 1 upon 7. So x is 1 upon 4, y is 1 upon 7. Common error which students do is not replace it back which means they leave the answer at a, b is equal to 4, 7. But this will not get you marks for this step and for this step because the question has variable x and y, not a and b. a and b are variables which we have created. I hope you're getting the gist of it. Let's move on to question number 3. So 5x plus 8 upon y is equal to 19. Um, x is already in the numerator, so let 1 upon y is equal to a. So this equation gets turned to 5x plus uh, 8a is equal to 19. That's my first equation. 
let's see what's the second equation second equation is 3x minus 4 upon y is equal to 7 which means 3x minus 4a is equal to 7 so 5x plus 8a and 3x minus 4a so let me multiply this equation with 2 if I multiply this with 2 I will equate the second variable so I have the first equation as 5x plus 8a is equal to 19 and the second equation is 6x minus 8a is equal to 14 let's add that's 11x is equal to 33 therefore x is equal to 3 done I still need to calculate the value of y so put x is equal to 3 in my first equation yeah first equation is fine it is 15 plus 8a is equal to 15 plus 8a is equal to 19 which is 8a is equal to 19 minus 15 which means 8a is equal to 4 therefore a is equal to 4 upon 8 which is equal to half and I know a is equal to 1 upon y is equal to half which means y is equal to 2 I've got my final answer I write it in the set form x y is equal to 3 comma 2 so let's move on to question number 5 let 1 upon x is equal to m and 1 upon y equal to n so this equation becomes 3m minus 2n is equal to 0 so that's my first equation and the second equation is 2 upon x plus 5 upon y is equal to 19 which means this equation becomes 2m plus 5n is equal to 19 that's my second equation so i need to equate something uh, i will multiply this with 5 this will make it negative 10n and i will multiply this with 2 this will make it plus 10n so multiply with 5 gives me 15m minus 10n is equal to 0 this is 4m plus 10n is equal to 38 this gets cancelled so this is 19m is equal to 38 therefore m is equal to 2 now let's substitute put m is equal to 2 in let's say equation 1 and i get 3 into 2 minus 2 n is equal to 0 6 minus 2 n is equal to 0 2 n is equal to 6 therefore n is equal to 3 now let's substitute m is equal to 1 upon x is equal to 2 which means x is equal to 1 upon 2 perfect and n is equal to 1 upon y is equal to 3 which means y is equal to 1 upon 3 I've got my final answer now if I leave my answer here there is a mistake that I'm doing because in this question there is a tail question it says find a if y is equal to ax plus 3 now let's substitute y is equal to 1 upon 3 is equal to ax x is equal to 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2a plus 3 uh, which means 1 upon 3 minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 2a let's take lcm 1 minus 9 upon 3 is equal to a upon 2 negative 8 upon 3 is equal to 8 upon 2 which means a is equal to negative 8 into 2 upon 3 is equal to negative 16 upon 3 but we can't write our answer like this we need to write this in the simplest form so that's negative 5 1 upon 3 so that's my value of a and x y was 1 by 2 1 by 3 so this has a tail question which you need to read carefully thank you